Not many live to see a century in a clime where life expectancy is one of the lowest in the world. Attaining such an unusual milestone in good health comes with a long train of memories. Indeed, and for Africa's first chartered accountant, it's been a journey of landmarks. At 100 years of age, he has distinguished himself as a boardroom giant many in the African corporate space turn to for inspiration. Business editor Tolu Lokpo Ogunjobi brings us the story of Akintola Williams. A quintessential statesman with an array of achievements many in his generation could have only imagined. Half a century ago, he crossed the line and today he celebrates an age even countries with the best expectancy brackets haven't reached, namely Monaco, Japan and Singapore with the enviable expectations of 89, 86 and 86 respectively. Parkintola Williams was born on August 9, 1919 into the family of Thomas Ekundayo Williams. He had his primary education at Uluwubo Methodist Primary School, Lagos, in the 1930s. From there, he attended the prestigious CMS Grammar School for his secondary education. He later won a UAC scholarship for his higher education at the Yaba Higher College, where he obtained a diploma in commerce. He proceeded to the University of London in 1944 to study banking and finance, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce degree in 1946. Mr. Williams later qualified as a chartered accountant in England in 1949, making him the first African to achieve the feat, then age 30. After years of service, Williams retired in 1983 at the age of 64, but he did not rest from serving humanity. At 100 years old, you can see the love shown to him by all. All I can say is that I feel really relaxed, relieved, and happy to have been around so many friends tonight, young, old, and ancient. I will always remember them. He's um, a well-known man, doyen of accountancy, a distinguished gentleman, a kind man. A very good uncle. I'm his uncle. I'm his niece by marriage, but that has never been a problem for Papa. He has taken all of us as his nieces and nephews. Integrity, money, and selfishness is something they need to get out of their system. This man was a selfless person who helped a lot of people, trained a lot of accountants, trained a lot of people put his entire life to the service of humanity. Our leaders today must borrow a leap from this if our country to be a better, could be a better place. As the drive to encourage indigenous ownership of businesses increased, Akintola Williams played a role in establishing the Association of Accountants Nigeria in 1960 with the goal of training accountants. He served as the first president of the association and pioneer president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN. No wonder ICANN has decided to celebrate him. They are here to honor a man they call the doyen of the accounting profession. Following our doing's characteristic manner of affecting lives positively, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria will today, in his honor, award scholarship to eight indigent but brilliant students across various tertiary institutions in the country. Mr. Williams was also involved in the establishment of the Nigerian Stock Exchange in 1960, a market that he has remained actively involved in to this day as an advisor to the operators. He was honored by the Nigerian government with the order of the Federal Republic OFR in 1982 and commander of the Order of the Federal Republic CFR in 2001. Pa Williams was married to Efutiloye Mabel Williams Nikoka, who died in 2009 at the age of 88. Pa Williams is not just a man of many years, 
but the finder of many paths. Sorry, you have no glass with you. If you had a glass, you will know that I'm drinking the toast and hoping that you can also celebrate the hundred years of your birth as I'm tonight celebrating. All the very best. To some, he is the father of Nigerian accounting, but for many, he is also a major pillar of the emergence of classical music as a cultural piece in Nigeria. Tolu Lokpe Ogunjobi, TVC News, Lagos.